gusty winds. That's all I have for the weather. I'll be back in a few moments. And thank you very much, Tommy, for the weather updates. It looks like today is a day that we're just going to have to stay indoors, right? Mm. Best way to go. And uh, now we're going to be talking about temple food. A lot of people are looking for that well-being food and also the healing trend is very much in. People want to get away from that norm of eating preservatives as well as fatty foods. So they're turning to temple foods. That's right. And over the weekend, a large-scale event was held in Pongyang Temple in Suwon, Gyeonggi Province, which invited temple foods from seven different countries. And we'll take you to the World Temple Food Festival 2013 right now. On the foot of Gwangyo Mountain in Suwon, Gyeonggi Province, sits Pongyong Temple. Known as a place for educating monks, it was built during the 13th century of the Goryeo Dynasty. Last weekend, however, the normally serene and calm temple was bustling with large crowds of people coming together. We came out here for a trip with the family because we heard there was a temple food festival. Since it's a global temple food festival, we came to see different temple food dishes from other countries. With the growing interest in temple cuisine, the World Temple Food Grand Festival 2013 is underway, and visitors can try out the food firsthand. The event began in 2009 under the slogan, Nature's Taste, a Sharing Soul, and is now in its fifth year. Temple food does not include any meat or fish. It is also a healthy cuisine that doesn't have any spicy ingredients, such as green onion, garlic, chives, wild chives, and onions. We are holding this festival so that we can spread word about this healthy cuisine. And this year marks the first time temple foods from other countries, such as Japan, Taiwan, Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Vietnam, and China were also introduced. The event has transformed from a local event, merging into a global Buddhist festival. It is an opportunity to learn the temple food culture of other countries and understand how each incorporate religious precepts into their cuisine. Because Tibet is a high-altitude area, we did not have very much to eat from the old days. That's why the Buddhist monks usually ate something simple, such as barley flour or butter tea, and spent the rest of the time in ascetic practice. But coming here, it's surprising to see all these different types of dishes, and it's good that people can take part in Buddhist activities through food like this. It's wonderful that many monks can come together and exchange their dishes, and I'd like to invite Korean temple food experts to China. The lively atmosphere subsides, and Buddhist monks from seven different countries, including Japan, China, Vietnam, Myanmar, along with Pongyong Temple's monks, circle the temple grounds, carrying alms bowls in order to conduct takbal. Takbal is a form of asceticism to adhere to the philosophy of non-possession. The rule is to ask for food at only seven homes a day, whether they be poor or rich homes. The temple food at the event is put on display in one area of the venue. One of the basic rules of Korean temple food is to abstain from consuming meat, adhering to the principle which prohibits the killing of living things. It also bans five strongly flavored ingredients, such as green onions and garlic, called o shinche, which are believed to disturb the practice of asceticism. This year, many new temple food dishes from other countries, as well as those using creative methods of modern-day cooking, have been introduced. Around Pongyong Temple, other activities have been set up so the public can get one step closer to the cuisine and the Buddhist culture. Regardless of your religion, I think it's a great place to come to with your family and have fun. This is the first time I've made a lotus flower cup lantern. It's hard to make it look pretty, but it's a fun experience. And at the conclusion of the festival, various performances take place, bringing together the participating monks and visitors and guests from various countries together. And with this, the two-day festival comes to an end.
Uh, in the future, we hope that we become a more bridge between the Korean Buddhist community to the international community in Korea. And we hope to attract more foreign and international people to Korean monastery. So in the future, hope uh, we can make it even more bigger and more attractive festival. The World Temple Food Festival has moved beyond a localized Buddhist event and is now taking steps towards becoming a more global celebration. With fall foliage changing into rich gold and red colors, more and more hikers are on the trails enjoying the scenery. But where there comes more accidents, we take a look at how to prevent small to life-threatening injuries while hiking.